cool. How's it going guys? Devin here with Make Anything and it's been a good week. For one thing, uh, I found this sweet workbench on the side of the road and I have a lot more space to print now. But you're going to be seeing a lot of that. Today I want to talk about this thing. And this is a new build plate by a company called Print in Z. It used to be called the Zebra Plate, presumably because it's got two sides, black and white, and they're both usable. So you animal rights activists out there have no fear. That's just the name, okay? And I've heard really good things about this build plate. It's kind of flexible, which of course helps you get prints off the plate, but it's also just formulated so that things stick really well and they come off really well. So if this thing works as well as I've heard, then I will no longer be relying on blue painter's tape that I have to replace between all my prints, and that would be a huge time saver. So I'm really looking forward to trying this thing out. The only real risk with this plate is if you print too close to the bed, the plastic might end up like getting really stuck. So it's important that you level the bed correctly, and today I'm going to show you how I make sure that I got it right. Print and Z sells plates in all kinds of different sizes for different printers, and this one is made especially for the Replicator 2. But they also sell larger sheets that you could cut to size yourself, and they sell skins which you just stick directly on your existing build plate, which are a little bit more affordable, but I like the idea of this sheet that goes on top, because in case the print is super stuck, you can take it off and do a little bit of flexing and make sure it really pops off. Alright, so let's do this already. I'm so excited. So assembling the plate couldn't be easier. I just put it flush to my existing build plate and a few binder clips will hold it in place. Although I printed my own clips so they would take up less space on the build plate and so that I could take them on and off easier. Plus they just look nicer, don't you think? Print and Z also offers various spacers on Thingiverse that you can print out, which effectively offset the Z stop to make up for the increased height of the build plate. Now, my Replicator 2 doesn't have an automatic leveling system, so I created my own test print in Simplify 3D that would allow me to level my build plate a little easier. So I modeled this little disc, which is just one layer thick, and I'm going to copy it and place it on various areas of my build plate so that I can level out my printer. In Simplify 3D, you can create sequential prints so that each one of these little discs will print one at a time, and in the order that makes it easiest for me to level. So the first three discs that I put down there are correlated to the adjustment knobs on the bottom of my build plate. So I'm going to print those first, then I'll print that disc right in the center, and if all of those go well, I'll try to print these remaining four, which are in the far reaches of the build plate. My original build plate is actually kind of warped, so I've never been able to really print on the whole build plate. And while the print and Z plates aren't designed to fix that, I decided I'd give it a shot anyways. The way that I can choose the order that these discs print is by creating an individual process for each disk. So I'm just using my standard settings for PLA, but I'm gonna number these processes for the order that I wanna print the disks. And then I'll click this little select models button here at the bottom and select only the first model I wanna print. Then I'll just create another instance of the same exact process, name that number two and select only the second model I wanna print. I continue doing this for all eight disks until they each have their own process. Now when I go to prepare the print, Simplify 3D asks me to select the processes. And I just select all eight of those processes I just made and switch the setting to sequential printing object by object. Since these are only one layer high, the clearance height doesn't really matter. So I'll just set it to one millimeter. Now when I preview the print, you can see that the discs print in the order that I created the processes. Then it's just a matter of starting with the build plate way too low and slowly raising it until the prints just stick. As I was doing this, I realized I'd put on the flexible plate backwards, and I think that was kind of interfering with the leveling. Oh, this is on backwards. How did I do that? Once I flipped that around, it was a lot easier to level my plate. After repeating this print maybe 10 times and slowly refining, I finally got every single disc to print out well. And that's something I was never able to do on my regular build plate. Look at how easily these prints come off. 
Flexing definitely helps with bigger prints. Oh, and by the way, you don't want to use a spatula with sharp edges, so I actually ended up rounding the edges of mine myself. If you don't have a grinding wheel like this, a regular old hand file should do the job too. For larger prints, I found it easiest to just flex that plate and pop the print right off. Also, the surface finish was way nicer with these prints than it was with the blue painter's tape. If you've touched the plate too much with your greasy fingers, all it takes is a little wipe down with some rubbing alcohol, and you're good to go again. Well folks, it took a little bit of troubleshooting and I did end up with a little bit of cosmetic damage on the build plate, but now that I've got it level and I've got it printing, ooh, it's printing good. Just as promised, that print and Z plate is really holding the prints down, but they come off just like butter. I don't know why I said it like that. I guess I'm just really excited. So I just want to give a big thanks to the guys and gals over at Print and Z. You done good. Um, I really enjoy the plate. And for my viewers, I might recommend checking out those skins that they also sell. They cost a fraction of the price, so it might be a good introduction into this Print and Z plate. All right, well, now that I got this thing working, I've got work to do myself. So I'll see you guys next time. I'm Devin, and this is Make Anything. Stay inspired. <laughs>